and the NASCAR Wheel and Modified Tour is underway for 2020. Headed into turn one at the Jennerstown Speedway Complex. The Wade Cole 133 is up to full speed, and Emberling has a big problem. Emberling in the 07, one of the fastest qualifiers, rolls to a stop at the exit of turn number two. We avoided disaster there. The number 60 machine Sorry, the number 64 machine was slow up there as well. And look at the right front tire flat on the Emmerling 07. I'm going to suspect that maybe some contact would have caused that because on lap one, I don't think a tire goes down. That is unbelievable that the driver who was taking the green flag from fourth position, a driver with a victory on the tour who likes high-speed half-mile racetracks is going to have to come in for an emergency pit stop with that right front flat tire. And a problem for the seven. McKennedy, who was running in the top five and passing top-notch machines, is falling back in this field. Is it a tire problem? Is it something more severe? It is a tire problem. The left rear is flat on the seven of John McKennedy. So a top five driver will be headed to the pits, just like Emmerling, who's in the shot there in the 07, climbing from the tail, two top qualifiers, suffering tire failures, and the caution flag is on the speedway. Caution flag is out as we're watching the seven of John McKennedy. McKennedy, who timed in the fifth quick position, suffering a left rear flat, Emmerling, who on lap one suffered a flat tire, was the third quick qualifier. So drivers who figured out the quick way around this half mile are having tire troubles here today. So while Monsignor stretches out his lead, the other, oh, and there we have it. Contact, we just talked about a clean race so far, but contact sends the 50 of Ronnie Williams spinning. Williams, who's no slouch with a couple of SK modified championships and winning polls in his seven years of modified competition on the NASCAR Tour. He got chrome horned at the exit to turn four, and this incident is entering the front straightaway with Catalano making contact enough to get a flat front tire on the 56 machine. Her two sons are in competition in this event with her today, and we'll see if the 50 can back out of this event. Oh, he's got a flat right left front as well, so that contact after the spin is most likely what flattened two Hoosier tires here as we're going to go to the replay and we'll see. Here we have the 06 car. Oh, look at that contact right there. And that takes out the 50 machine of Williams, that seven-year driver that we were speaking of. Boy, that is... That is a heartbreak for the way he had been running so strong inside the top 10 with that number 50 machine.